It feels like you almost got to date somebody on your level. You okay? have to. Because one, I'm sorry. I like, I like, like, I f with a nigga. Like, it's crazy because I like a nigga that's not on my level. But then it's like, damn, like, that mean <laughs> I ain't going to get no trips. I ain't going to get no J. <laughs> I ain't going to get no design. I ain't going to get shit but love and, a, and, a, and some good words. Like, mm. I ain't trying to hear that. I do be trying to hit that sometimes, but it's like, damn, like that's all I'm gonna get. It's like now at this point, you gotta pick between the 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 luck, the the manyan, or you gotta pick between the like the 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 words, the mm. the good nothings. Yo, what's poppin'? I want to say thank you for all my new and returning viewers of the J-Hill Podcast. But this episode is sponsored by Richburg Designs and their clothing company, Be More Energy. Make sure you head on over to Richburg Designs right here on the screen and make sure you get you some merch. Also, they do comedy t-shirts as well. Shout out to my Baltimore family for getting me right. Be More Energy. Richburg Designs, richburgdesigns.com and richburg underscore designs on Instagram. Make sure you holler at them. Appreciate you. All right, yo, what's popping? You know what time it is, your boy, Mr. J Hill. J Hill, we are in the building. Okay. And we got McConst in the building, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got, we got special guests in the building, man. Arika and the Menace is here. How you doing? What's up? How you feeling? I'm all right. You got the little one. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. No problem. Uh, I mean, if you want, you can pull your mic closer to you. Take it uh, from, the, from, the, from the... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Shit. How you feeling, man? Go. What's going on? I feel good. No, it's good. I it's, feel high spirits today. Like, I'm just... Today is a good day. Why, why you think it's so good for you? I don't know. Maybe because I'm working. I like working. Mm -hmm. Yo, so um, you from Baltimore, mm -hmm. but you like 10 years younger than me. So like, you got to give me, give me, like update me. Like what part of the town are you from? I'm from West Side. So I'm from the county, like Catonsville area. Oh, word. Mm -hmm. So what high school you went to like? Catonsville. Catonsville? Mm -hmm. Okay. I went to a lot of school. I went to Catonsville, Pikesville, Middle, Catonsville Middle. I went. I was everywhere. I went to. I went to Matt. Um, I went to hella different schools too. Like I went to most of my time. See, I'm from the projects. I'm from McCall Homes, but a lot of times I went to. School, well, most of my my times I went to school in Park Heights. Mm -hmm. So like I went to Edgecombe. I went to uh, Green Spring. I went to Northwestern. Mm -hmm. So like, nah, I get it. And then like, I think Pikesville is west, right? Like by Woodlawn. Oh, I went to Woodlawn too, and I went to Milford. Damn. Okay. Dude, so yeah, all I went to Woodlawn, Milford. I went to Woodlawn High, Milford High, and Catonsville High. Oh, all right. I went to night school, though. You went to night school? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Why you go to night You was bad? Uh, I mean, that's what they try to portray me as, but I don't think I need you to You know if he's bad shit. or not. For <laughs> why, why, why you go to night school? I don't know. I really don't, for real. And it's so crazy because night school, like, you really could drag. Like, they don't pay attention to nothing you do. No, like, they just give you paperwork and be like, do it. Yeah. I don't even know how I passed night school, for real. How, what, so how you get into night school? Like, what happened? I don't even remember. I ain't gonna lie. I just remember I ended up going. <laughs> you remember it's something you don't want to tell me. No, I really don't. <laughs> you, so all of a sudden I was in night no, school. No, like like tip, like ninth to tip, I just ended up in night school. I'm trying to think how, but did I you end up finish know. school? Huh? Did you finish? Yeah, school? I graduated. Okay. I graduated a year early too. I graduated in eleventh grade. But that's, I mean, that's the one benefit of night school. Though. Exactly, they give you everything. They give you all them credits, whatever yeah. you need. Like, look, nah, I'm facts. Doing everything. I went to um, so I failed twice. I ended up going to Twilight School. That's what we called it. Night school. What um grade you failed? Uh, I f I failed in like the third grade or something. Damn. Yeah, I was bad as hell, young. And you know what's crazy? I remember when we when people used to fail like in elementary school, the teachers would make it so nice. They'd be like, "I'm gonna pick one student to stay back with me because I like you so <laughs> like, much." You look full of shit. <laughs> hell yeah. No, no. So I went. I ended up going to uh, Twilight School and middle school. So I didn't go to seventh grade. Yeah. So I know how about the night school. That's why I was like, man. It, I mean, there's some benefits to it, but like... No, it's definitely benefits for sure. I graduated when I was 16. I was 16 out of school. Like, I was outside. I had just got my car. All that, like... But was you ready? Was you ready to graduate, though? How? Yeah, I was ready to get the... F out of it. And I was doing nails at the time. So I was doing nails when I was like 14 to 18. So that mean I could do my work. Like, because mm -hmm. I would go to work and... Then, I mean, I would go to school and then work, do nails afterwards. So... It was benefits. So, I mean, looking back on it, though, do you think you was ready? Not saying, like, Hell of no. course you was no. ready to get out of school. I ain't gonna lie. Like, mentally, no. Like, no. Mm. I just had a... Hey. I just had a um a younger mindset. And I feel like I should have definitely been in school a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Because me having all that free time was bad. Like, I made a lot of bad ass decisions. Like, but it was cool, though. I mm. feel like since I had that time, 
I definitely grew older quicker. Like now, all the that people be trying to do. Can I cuss on here? Here you go. Okay, all the shit that people be trying to do. At this age, it's like, I been did that. And I know a lot of people be saying that, like, oh, I been, no, I really been did that. Like, I'll be around people now that's my age or older, and they'll be trying to, like, like, some people just don't know how to sit the f*** down. Like, they always got to be doing something, because mm -hmm. they ain't never really get the experience doing shit when they was younger. Me, mm -hmm. I be chilling. I don't nah, know. facts. Yo, I think, I feel like at that age, 16, I had to be 26, maybe. Do you, I feel like. Damn. You yeah. had to be older than what I am right now. Yeah. So, like, I feel like 26 is when I might have just started the freestyles and shit like that with the right. DTLR. The YG Tech, when we were just talking about. So, and the I, YG Tech, that was. He ate that up. No, nah, facts. But I feel like around that time was when we had the Creek Boys going crazy. Mm -hmm. And they was like really putting on for like the county. Right. Because they know, be playing <clears throat> They be playing with the county. Like, oh, the yeah. county, not Baltimore. How's not Baltimore? I didn't say Hartford County. I'm in Baltimore County. Yeah. Like when I tell you, like my mother lived right on Route 40, like mm -hmm. right there. You step you step a couple uh, steps over and you in the village. Like yeah. she, she, like we not in Hartford County. But no, we that's what I was going to say. I feel like, I feel like, but I know just, and, and I could be wrong, but I feel like that during that time, the Creek Boys was really putting on for the county. Yeah. And now, when I go back, I don't see a big division of like city versus county. Do, do you still feel like it's divided? What you think? No, I don't. Only time, like, I feel like it's divided if it's like, my f like, on that with you. Like, if they don't f with you, then they'll try to be like, oh, you from the county. Like, they don't oh, have right. nothing else to say. They'll yeah. say that. But it's like, I'm from Baltimore County. Yes, mm. I am. But it's like, it's so close. Like, Baltimore is small. Maryland as a whole is small as shit. Mm. Like, and Maryland, I don't even, like, that shit really far as shit. But Baltimore County, Baltimore, that's like five minutes away. Like, Nah, facts. Yo, it's funny. Nah, it's funny because I was um I was in town not too long ago. Not this last time. And um I was about to go get something to eat. And mm -hmm. I was with my girl at the time. And I'm like, man, I want to get something to eat. But, like, I think we was going to go to Taste This. But we over west. We, like, we probably, like, on Fulton Avenue and, North, and like, by North Avenue. And I'm like, I don't feel like going over here west. Going over all we were east to get some food. For the whole time, it was like a 10-minute drive. That's what I'm saying. Like, this shit <laughs> be like right there. Like, Facts. I don't know where the fuck. They think we talking about Hartford County. Like, once you, like, Mer like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm from Baltimore. I know that's in Maryland, but it's like, Maryland is crazy. Yeah, like, that's it, far. It's yeah. fuck like Silver Spring. Yeah. What else? Prince George County. Like, all Montgomery that. Montgomery County, all that. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> now, like, I remember, like, when I was coming up, it's funny because Baltimore, as close as it may seem, we're like our, we're really we're like our, our own, own tribe. We're our own people, yeah. like our own tribe. I used to tell people all the time, like I, I used to categorize Montgomery County, Silver Spring. Oh, it, yeah, I used to be all that, that's PG County. I used no, to, real I used to say all that's PG I County. I don't even know what the fuck they call that. But I was PG County than DC. <laughs> right. The whole time is like mad different cities exactly. in Maryland. Boy, Baltimore, boy. But I love it. I, I feel like, um, I, I, feel like we I, I love the city though, man. No, for real. Why do you feel like people coming from the city love it? Like, I got, got so much a hold on it, or the city got so like much me, a hold Like, me, like, growing up, like, I'm from the county, but I have family all over. Like, shout out Auntie Lorraine. She stayed all over. Like, like being younger, I used to just be all throughout there, like, everywhere, the county, city. And it's like, growing up, like, I used to be in love with the dirt bikes. Like, I used mm. to be seeing them, and that shit used to get me excited. So, I just thought like it's a culture. Like, nobody can't really. Girl. You wanna talk to? Nobody like can't really fuck with us on that. Thing. Like, I know everybody got bike life, like, Cali and other states. But I just, like, Baltimore, like, they, like, we really do that shit, like. So that was, a, that was you was big into the bike life coming up then? I never rode a bike for real by myself. But, but, but I wanted to, yeah. Like, I wanted to. So like, you I used to like, Dama every Sunday? <laughs> Listen, the Sundays, they go up. <laughs> every Sunday, they was outside, like. And I just used to be like, damn. I remember I used to be at my own house, like, damn. Like, I want to ride with them. But I remember, like, I was like, no, nah, like. I fuck around, fall off that bitch. <laughs> so wait, so wait, we're gonna skip around a little bit. So when you um what music video you dropped when you was on the back of the bike? What, what music video? I you dropped uh oh, uh oh, I had the bikes in the shot of Willie Wayne. He helped me set up everything. I called him, he had everybody pull up now. Ain't going back. That was the most lit video I ever did. Like we was riding through everywhere on the land. We had the bikes out, like it was lit. So I wanna go to uh oh, right? Mm -hmm. So for you to come up looking at like just being infatuated with the bikes and things like that, and like just loving the culture. To be able to be on the back of the bike with Wayne, how big was like, that for you? I ain't gonna lie, like that shit, like it was like, damn, like my younger self would be like, bitch, you lit. Like I still, I be looking at my videos now, like that's crazy. Like everything you want in life, you could really manifest and get it. Like I used to dream about being on the back of one of the bikes, but I ain't wanna be on anybody's bike. Mm -hmm. So to be on his bike and I know I'm protected and safe, cause you know, niggas fuck around, hey, you fall off the back. Yeah, of that bitch. people have fell a couple times. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But with him, I felt like safe, like, all right, but um, yeah, Did you so, reach out to like Chino or, or anything? Um, Chino, 
No, I should have, but I didn't. I was just curious because they both like legends. Yeah, and, but Chino I feel like, definitely hard too. Yeah. That's crazy. When I was just down there, I was just hollering at him too. I definitely like him, Wayne, put like them is the only people I would ever even trust to get on the back. Mook, Money Mook, mm -hmm. him too. Like like the people that really been in the shit. And it's a lot of young niggas coming up too that's getting on the dirt bikes too. But me, like my age range, that's who was really doing it yeah. when I was growing up. Who who like how how did you get introduced to the bike life as um, a young? You said, how did I get introduced? Yeah, like, I, like I, of course, they was in, a, in the city all the time, but, like, yeah, but who like was your me, first person Like, seen? the first person I ever was Pug, like, he was straight, like, I'm ready to ride the bike. I'm like, nigga, I want to get on that bitch. Like, so I got on it, and it was real funny. He always, every Sunday, he like, I'm on a bike. I'm like, yo, come get me. Like, now that I got the baby, it's like, I can't really, you feel me, get on mm -hmm. a bike like that. But, no, like, when I met him, that's when I was really like, no, this shit fun. Nah, but not even just having a baby, though. Like, you got a lot of emotion right now. So Hell yeah. You can't just be in the city all willy nilly exactly. now. Exactly. And it's so crazy <clears throat> because I swear to God, like, I think, like, I'm a regular-ass person. Like, I go to the city. They plan my shit mm -hmm. in a motherfucking crafty crab. Like, I'm like that. Like, I walked in that bitch. They play my shit while I'm in there. Like, and it's crazy. Like, it's just a good feeling. Is it? But is it hard, though? Because, like, you do got a lot of emotion and you got to, like... So to say you're a celebrity now, so you can't move like the the old you. No, for sure. Like, like with everything, it's like I gotta be careful now, especially because I'm a girl, mm -hmm. and they look at me like, oh, that's like a taking baby from a, I mean, taking cake from a baby. You feel me? Like they look at me like like a lick for real. So it's like I definitely gotta move smarter, especially because um I got a child now, and I, she be with me everywhere. So I don't just be popping out anywhere doing anything. Like I gotta know everybody that's there. If it's an event where I don't. I'm going to have my security with my peoples with me. Like, you know, like, I always move smart, so. Mm. But is that hard for you, though? Because It or, is. Because, like, you know, like, being from the city, we always want the love from our city. You always want to pop out because, like, bro, that's where yeah. we from. But, like, you really can't do it like that mm -hmm. no more. You know no, what I'm saying? for sure. That, that's exactly. I sort of go, like, I be contemplating. Every day I'm, like, fighting, like, <laughs> just go. But then it's like, no, nah, be safe. Be smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah be yeah, smart. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like, it's definitely different. And then it's a lot of haters. And then it be fake-ass pages that be just... Talking to people, I swear to God, let me tell you a story. I was on a bus, I mean, not the bus, I'm geeking. I was on a plane one time, and I was in first class, and then the nigga next to me kept looking at me and shit. I'm looking at his ass, like, fuck you looking at, like, the fuck? He like, you don't remember me? I'm like, no, where I supposed to remember you from? He like, we was talking on Facebook. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, shit. I said, I don't have no Facebook. He like, yeah, because you supposed to give me some, like, basically saying that I scammed him and all type of shit. I'm like, dang. Oh wow! I'm like I don't have no Facebook like, but that could be dangerous because it's like people that would not go for that. People that's like fuck, I did that was you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I never had a Facebook. I don't even know how to work that shit. I tried to make one. I didn't even get on that bitch. But yeah, it's definitely dangerous. Um, you been signed for what? No, like a year and a half. Yeah, like a year and a half. I got signed March. No, two years. March two years. 2022. Okay. Yep. You've been signed for two years now. Mm -hmm. And I've been like, I've been doing this. But this. I really, I took a year off. Like me having a baby, I sort of got like my team was telling me like, do this and do that. And I'm like, man, I'm sick. Like they didn't know I was pregnant yeah. though, but it definitely slowed me down a little bit. So I really feel like I was signed for a year. Was they upset about the pregnancy? Because you ain't telling nobody? I ain't gonna lie. My team told me like, <clears throat> one thing you don't do is get pregnant like, just don't do that. And I'm like, all right, I straight get pregnant. But I ain't going to lie. You can still do this shit. It's look real down upon for females to get pregnant because they feel like, oh, they're just going to be a mom. They're just going to be in a the house. They're just, no, my daughter is with me everywhere I go. I don't care. where I'm, As long as they're not smoking, she's in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm still working regardless. And I feel like it shouldn't be looked down upon as much as it is for real. So what, you, are you, you signed to uh Columbia. Boo? Yeah, Boo in Columbia. Boo is Akon, brother. Yeah. How the hell you meet him? So I had a production team, a, a management team at the time that turned into a production team. Um, and they basically worked with him and he got me signed to Columbia. Okay. So it was like, but so wait, let's rewind then before we, cause I'll be getting too deep into this shit. What, when did you get into music? Not when you started taking it serious. I know you got uh, shot. You started taking it serious right. then. But like, when did you, like, what made you first get into music? Rest in peace to Quan, my homeboy. I mean, not my homeboy. This is my nigga at the time who ended up dying. He um he was a rapper and it was so crazy because he like come to the studio with me. I went to the studio with him and we posted this song together. I never had rap before, never been in the studio, nothing. And he like rapping, but I'm hearing how he talking to Mike. He like yelling. And I'm like, what the fuck you so loud for? But now that I'm an artist, I see that that's how you emphasize your words. Like you really gotta say that shit. Like you mean it. So shout out to him. He was the first person to put me in the booth. I made a song with him when I was like 14. That shit on SoundCloud. I mm. sound just so young, like it's so embarrassing. But 
Yeah, that was the first time I ever got in a booth. And then after that, I was like, I could really probably do this shit. So you said Quan. Do we know Quan? Or? Um, so the followers that have been following me, like from like the start, like when I was 14, 15, from Baltimore, it's mainly people from Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Um, he ended up dying. So rest in peace. Yeah. So when he died, I was like posting like crazy. Even before he died, we was already posting, but he ended up passing. It. But um He from yeah. Baltimore too? No, he from DC. Okay, I, I might not know him. Yeah, but he's a rapper, like some lit. No, nah, he was like, we was young as shit. I was like 14, I forgot how old he was, but we was young, like, we wasn't nobody. Because, I, like, I think I heard, again, I don't know too much, like, the year, the, the age gap is crazy, but I think I heard somebody saying, like, you had, like, a lit-ass boyfriend at a time. Oh, that was Pug. Who? Pug. That's what they oh, about. Pug. Okay. Okay. Because I, I I might not even know him, but he's a he's, he's from Baltimore. Yeah, he be riding the bike himself. That's who at the time, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> right, at like, the time, that's, like that's who, like. Don't be shady. Oh, wait, you talking about, like, a lit-ass boyfriend? Nah, I ain't so gonna lie, I, I had so, a so, so yeah, cause we're gonna get into it because like I don't Ew. know too much, but you got fans. You got fans. No, so that's what I'm saying. No, not Pug, Pug was not the littest. But So you had a lit boyfriend in Baltimore. No, yeah, a lit boyfriend in Baltimore, a lit you, boyfriend from Florida. And then you like left him nigga would be with some like other lit rapper or something like that? Yeah. I okay. said, when I tell you, listen, that broke the internet. Like, and it's so crazy looking back, because I was dead wrong. But what then happened? again, I wasn't. What happened? First give us of game. all, Because huh? you, you never talked about this, so give us a I game. never talked about it. So this this exclusive right here. So this is my side of the story. Okay. Shout out to Puck. I, you feel me? I fuck with him. It's no hard feelings. But it's like, he was dragging on me at the time. I was younger. He was a couple years older than me. He locked up talking to bitches from the cell. Just, he was dragging. He was dragging for the jib. Like, he had bitches coming up there. He was writing me and other bitches the same letter. Like, he told me him and another inmate was writing bitches the same exact letter. Like, he was dragging. So... I had got another nigga. Mm. Yes, I did. The fuck? But I ain't gonna lie. How I went about it was dead wrong. Like, I ain't tell him nothing. Like, I just started just doing me. But it's like, people don't know what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I popped out, they like, bitch, you crazy. Like, why would you do that? But So the other guy was a rapper from Florida? Yeah. Who was this? So embarrassing. I don't even wanna... I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna... I don't wanna <laughs> it was it? No. Oh, if you know, you know. Is it like, is it somebody like we know or yeah, just... Yeah, everybody knows. So why is it embarrassing? I feel because. like... If I... I feel like I've seen it. Yeah, you did see it. So why is it embarrassing? Because. <laughs> I don't but like, I was saying the name. Like, I, yeah, like, no. But I was like, saying the name. Why is it embarrassing? Because, like, how he did me was so. <laughs> hey, you want to talk? Hold on. Let me give her this bottle. Ma, so you can talk. This is the part of a um, mom tis. No, nah, trust me. I get it. I didn't did. I didn't did. Content anyway. My daughter. No, yeah. it's embarrassing just because how he, how I was done publicly, like. It was no remorse. Like, it was lies. It was embarrassment. It was just everything. Like, it was so embarrassing. Like, just talking to bitches. Mm. Like, fucking different bitches. Like, it was very You bad. know what's funny? I feel like a lot of times when we think about something being embarrassing, it really would be to our circle because I don't know nothing about this. So, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm pretty sure it's millions of people who don't know nothing about that. Exactly. So, I know it probably seemed like embarrassing to her, but... Yeah, but it's like, it was bad. Like, like nigga get mad and go live. Like, what type of time you want? Like, what the mm. fuck? And then now, looking back, it's like, that's really bad, too, because I got a daughter, too, and it's like, she gonna have to see that shit one day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, I don't even like... Like, it's just some shit you can't come back from. And me being older now, I be looking back like, you lame as fuck, especially because you were so much older than me doing that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now, did that have a, a help with the rap career, though? Um, it definitely got me, I ain't gonna lie, so I was already lit before any of these niggas. I was doing nails, I was doing everything myself, like, I was just known as a boss ass bitch that was working. And then, once I got in these relationships, you know, people love to be in business, so they looking at me even more. Mm -hmm. So it definitely helped, it, um, definitely got me seen a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yo, you know, it's funny, man, coming from the city, <clears throat> you being, like, so popular now, and being signed, and being in the industry, I feel like... One thing that I like about the city, but it kind of like set us back when it comes to industry, is expecting everybody to be genuine. But I feel like it's the total opposite. I swear to God, I was just talking about, about that to somebody. Like, you will try to, quote unquote, be real, stay down still. Yeah. Like, when they be like, you change, you have to. I yeah. swear to God, that shit is crazy. Because it's like, when you try to stay down with the people that was there before... It's like, you're not the one that changed. It be them changing. Like, mm -hmm. now they looking at you like, damn, like, this a bitch I grew up with. And now she thinks she all that. Oh, now she got this. Yeah, let me start asking her for shit. Oh, she ain't want to give it to me. This time. That bitch fake. You feel me? Like, it's like a lot of shit. And it's like, I feel like that stigma is is all the way backwards when they say that the, the person that started being successful changed. It be the people that do. weren't successful change mm -hmm. or are trying to be successful change. 
Because we be the same people. We be trying to kick it with y'all. I swear to God, I don't give a fuck what you got. I still go back to where my people's at. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? But it's like, they don't, I don't know, yo. It's like. And then a lot of times people. And then it be, I'm sorry. No, to cut you you then it be a lot of like hating shit that you'll overlook. Like you will overlook somebody just saying slick shit. Because it's like, no, I don't want it to be you, bro. Like, mm. I don't want that to be you. No, but but then it do be. No, you're right. And then also what I was going to say is, um, I feel like people try to equate like followers with dollars. Right. And a lot of times, like, yeah, a nigga might have a lot of motion, but that don't mean the money came yet. Hello? Like, I'm working. Like, like, I'm working. Like, yeah, I signed the deal, but baby, I ain't got no hit yet. The yeah. fuck? So it's like, y'all asking me for money when you never asked me for money, right? That's what I'm you saying. You expected me to do things for you. And then, you. you know what's so crazy? It's like, they uh, they appreciate the people that never did shit for them more than a, more than a person that did something for them and said no one time. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'll take your time. P I feel like people will... Appreciate. appreciate the people that didn't do shit for them at all mm -hmm. more than a motherfucker that do shit for them and then one time they can't do it at the time mm -hmm. now they look at you like yeah cause that I asked her for this and she ain't do it but you cool with this motherfucker that never did shit with you this, you're telling that to the person that never ever did nothing for you mm -hmm. how crazy is that mm -hmm. how weird is that no, five. you talking shit about somebody not doing something for you one time to the person that never did nothing to you and that's what I had to realize it's like at the end of the day, somebody gonna fuck with you regardless whether you do something for them or whether or not. Mm -hmm. But then an another thing too that I realized that's why sometimes you do have to fuck people with fuck with people on the same level as you. Because if you don't, like they'll really go out their way to sabotage you. They have nothing to lose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then some people don't even know how to don't know don't understand success. So like sometimes you might be talking about your everyday life and they might think you're bragging, right? Yo. They have no it's like, bro, this is just regular and I'm not trying to be they the whole time they like you think you better than me. He's like, nah, bro. I'm just talking my regular life. Whereas if you're talking to somebody who is just as successful than you or more, God. then they understand, right? I swear to God. <clears throat> so yeah, I get it, man. What what's what you think is the most frustrating part of the success so far? That like it feel like mm. nobody really genuine. Mm. Like it's like it's like you can't even go out and really make friends for real because it's like it's always a motive. Rather than when I was still in Baltimore doing this, it's like yeah, this person fucked me because I'm me. Yep. Now it's like. You can't even fuck with a little nigga. Nigga like, yeah, because I'm fucking on Ricky. Yep. Like, yeah, you, nigga don't yep. even fuck with you for real. Nigga just want to say he fucking you or mm. fucking with you mm -hmm. just for the image. Like, I sort of got ahead had a nigga that did not even like me for real. Like, nigga did not like me, did not. It was just cool points to say you fucking with me. You nah, know what I'm saying? No, it, it, it's one thing about the game, no matter how old we are, like, the shit never changed. Like, and I, I say this all the time. I feel like niggas, you know how niggas joke or people joke when they're like, niggas the new bitches? But that's true. It's like, a nigga will... <laughs> Nigga be thoughts for the Instagram check. Like a nigga see a chick with a blue check, mm -hmm. or they press whole time they don't even like her. Like he just oh, wanted she, because she 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 look good she to look everybody lit. else. You know what I'm saying? She lit for everybody else. And it's like, bro, like like what do you like? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, nah, it's crazy. Niggas don't want no lit bitch for real. They want the low key bitch that don't got no fault. That's what they want. Mm. Like all that other shit, it just be like You think it's hard dating you? Hell yeah. Cause what? I don't I feel like it is hard dating me. Cause this is what I've been told before, like. Like, it's like a thousand niggas that's looking at me and it's like, all oh, this Instagram shit. You got all these niggas on Instagram, but it's like, them I don't know them niggas. Like, that's what be irking me. Mm. I do not be knowing these people. Like, when niggas see me, they be like, oh, she got hella niggas. I don't just be talking to random niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, and this brings back to my daughter again. Like, especially I have a baby. Like, I cannot just be talking to anybody. I don't know what niggas be doing. Like, I don't know what you did. I don't know what you thinking. I don't know what you going to do. I don't know what you're doing right now. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just about being picky and... I feel like people think you have followers, you have a lot of options. You do, but... It's still slim pickings out here. It's still slim. The fucking dating. Like the, especially out. me. I don't know how other bitches do, but me, I'm I'm paranoid. Like, I don't just fuck... I got, a, I got a big ass chain. I don't even be wearing it like that because that shit's so fucking heavy. Like, mm -hmm. And then another thing too, I don't wear it because I be holding my daughter and I don't be wanting her to hit her head on my shit. But it's like, I got hella shit to lose and fucking with the wrong nigga, you're going to lose everything. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose everything. No, that's a fact. I, I mean, I know even like, not even like just as far as dating you, that got to be hard dating in general. Mm -hmm. Just trying to find somebody to date. It's almost like you, you know, it's funny because we see people like, people business be on the social media and stuff like that and all these celebrities dating celebrities. But it's like, it's all. it feels like you almost got to date somebody on your level. You because. have to. Because one, I'm sorry, I like shit. I like, like, I fuck with a nigga, like, it's crazy, because I like a nigga that's not on my level, but then it's like, damn, like, that mean <laughs> I ain't going to get no trips. 
I ain't gonna get no <laughs> J. I ain't gonna get no desire. I ain't gonna get shit but love and, a, and, a, and some good words. Like, mm. I ain't trying to hear that shit. The mm. fuck? I do be trying to hear that shit sometimes, but it's like, damn, like, that's all I'm gonna get. It's like, now at this point, you gotta pick between the 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 luck the the manyan or you gotta pick between the like the 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 words the mm. the good nothings yeah. <laughs> the fuck I mean shit it's funny because you're so young so it's like I understand but it's like what what would you rather have though I ain't gonna lie right now nothing I'm I'm gonna just wait I'm gonna just wait until the the per I'm not chasing shit I'm gonna wait until that shit come to me like I don't give a fuck what it is like. Cause I don't want no nigga that's just buying me shit and treating me like shit and not giving me that part. Cause I done had a nigga that was buying me everything, but it's like like mentally, like, like the chemistry was not there and it was draining. Mm. And then I had a nigga that really, really liked me, but it's like, damn, like I gotta pay for everything. No, I'm not doing that. Mm. <laughs> like I'll pay, I'll help you get on your feet. But as far as like taking trips for my birthday and it's like, I'll be thinking about all that shit, like. No. No, nah, I mean, that is different, though. <laughs> like, sorry, having to pay for your own birthday trip. No, I'm and not. And then pay for other people, too. No, I'm is not. crazy. When I have a nigga, no, I'm not. That's yeah. why I'm just like, uh-uh. But, I mean, what do you expect out of, like, somebody that's 24 or 25? That's what I'm saying, because I'm so young, and it's, like, hard. It's, like, you got to be with a granddaddy, <laughs> or you got to be with a young nigga that's, like, it's, like, shit. Yeah. That's all right now. I'm in a space where it's like I'm cool. Like I'm cool with everybody. I mm. swear to God. Like I got my daughter. That's all I. That's all I need. I don't need. If a nigga right, he's gonna fall right there. I don't mm. need to chase or look or any of that shit draining as fuck. Yo, coming from the city, you know, how, like we were just talking about. You got a lot of people that show love, but it be like a little bit of hate too. Like, what's some of the misconceptions about you, like coming from Baltimore, from your people, not like um, everybody else? From my people, from Baltimore, mean? like people from Baltimore. Oh, what's the misconception about me? Um. I don't know. I feel like people think like I'm just this like grimy ass, scamming ass bitch that's just like that's how they look at me. For real? Yes, because it's a lot of like weird ass, like like it's a lot of fake ass pages. It's a lot of weird ass shit that be going on. And it's like people from Baltimore just believe anything because they wanna hate you so bad. Real crabs in a bucket. Like yeah. for real. Like seriously. It's crazy because I would have thought that maybe, like, you came out of nowhere. Like, you know how that people be like, see an industry plant, something like that. That, too. That, too. I feel like they think that. But it's like, anything that pe anything that's said about me, I feel like people are just going to believe that. Like, bless you, bless you. Like, I'm a real artist. Like, all that other shit, I'm not, like, I'm a real, like, I really work for this. Like, I really sat in the studio, like, like years, like, really working on my shit. So, I feel like it's a lot of misconceptions. They but you do understand that um, that's, like, Cause people, it's people who do this for years and don't get half the success you got. I swear to God, no, that's true too. That's so, true. So too. you understand how fortunate and blessed you are, though, right? Mm -hmm. Real shit. Like somebody done told me one time, like it's actually somebody on my team. Nigga said, "I feel like you, you got signed on accident." I said, "What? <laughs> like what? That's crazy. Like that is crazy." That's the reality of it. But I mean, you still got to work for it. Exactly. You know what I'm trying to say? You definitely have to work for it because let me tell you. Like, I feel like before I had my baby, I was playing with this shit. Like, I didn't, like, I took it serious, but then it was, like, to a certain extent. Like, once I really started getting them jobs and having to go on a promo runs and having to really put in this work for the music shit, that's when I was like, damn, like, hold on now. <laughs> like, this is a lot. Like, it was a lot. Like, driving, like, across the whole South to go to this station, that station, that station, like, working and changing. Like, it was hella shit. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, once I got pregnant, I did start getting lazy and stuff. But then it's like... Now that I had her, it's like, no, like, that's my reason right there to really go hard with this shit. And I know I can do it. I was going to ask you, like, what was the wake up call? So when you had her, did something happen that made you think like, yo, um, I got to Because if I keep playing, I ain't going to have this opportunity. No, yes. Yes. What, what was sure. that? Um, One, it was almost like I felt like my team started giving up on me. Mm. Like, I felt like they were like, all right, like, you're not serious. But now it was like, it was like almost like the boy who cried wolf. Like, you keep saying, I'm serious, I'm serious, but you're still playing. But now when you're really serious, they're like, no, bitch. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like you're playing. But now it was like, no, nigga, like, I got something to work for now. Like, and then it's like, the lifestyle I was living before it wasn't really fit for, like, for what I, you know? Like, I don't belong dead or belong in jail. So it's like... I don't want to keep living that life no more. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm dead serious. Like I'm dead. Like I'm telling. Like I'm dead serious. Now. Like I'm ready to work. And even if that's even if I gotta prove it myself. If I have to go to these interviews by myself. If I have to go to these performances by myself. If I have to do a show by myself. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work regardless. No, that's dope. Mm -hmm. And you still signed. I'm still signed. So the fact that you're doing that by yourself is gonna show that like y'all really serious. Because even what I'm this saying. was 
independent. Well, YOLO. So say, yeah, YOLO. YOLO. Yeah, I thought, by myself. Like, yeah, I thought it was you dope. know, I'm a work regardless. Like, I'm a real born hustler. Like, I'm never going to just sit there and just go around. Like, you know how some people be like, damn, I'm on the show. You better work. Mm -hmm. You better work. Mm -hmm. And not no, you feel me? No shade to any other artist that's on the show, but I'm, I'm, I got a couple dollars, so I'm going to still do what I got to do. You feel mm -hmm. I'm not rich yet, but I still can invest in myself and still can shoot a music video if I need to. You All know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. What I was going to ask you, um, when it comes to that, like the change in the mentality, the mindset, the, the mindset change or the shift in my mentality, do you think that's going to affect the music though? Because like you said, the music you, or how you was moving might not be conducive of, be conducive of being a mother. No, what I feel right now, I feel real, very, very vulnerable. Like when I got signed, right, I got signed with no music out. That's because the label heard, all these labels heard my music that was real vulnerable, me talking about deep ass shit before I got signed. That made them want to sign me. But then it's like, once I got signed, you know how labels do. Oh, get in the studio with this producer. Get in the studio with that. And we're just, fuck all that shit you made. We're going to make new shit and put that on the radio. So that's how that went. But now it's like, I'm back in a vulnerable ass state right now. Like, I just been going through hella shit. And it's like, I'm ready to release that in my music. Like, you know what Now, I'm do you think the fans are ready for that? Because a lot of us, we like the, uh-oh. We like, we like a lot do. of, you, you did do. a lot of, um, I don't know. You're never going to know until you try. But one thing I do know is that my fans like to connect with me. Like, they like seeing me doing regular shit. Like, a lot of times, they don't, I notice they don't like me popping my shit too much because people can't relate to that. Mm. And that's, and you feel me? Like, I pop my shit and I show that because I thought that's what they wanted to see. But now it was like, no, like, I just posted a reel today of me showing what it's like to get ready as the mother and an artist. So it's mm -hmm. like, I'm doing my makeup, holding my baby. She started crawling now. I can't sit on the bed while I'm in the bathroom. I'm not putting on no dirty ass <laughs> floor. So now it's like, I'm holding her. <laughs> like, this is my real life. Like, I do this every day. Like, I'm holding her now. Like, the fuck? So, mm. yeah, I think they might like it. Are you nervous for it, though? Because you say they might like it, but it's like, that's still... That's a whole I really don't different give a thing. fuck if they like it. Like, whoever, my fans who's going like to fuck with me, going to fuck with me for real. Like, I'm not, like, that's what it is. You're going to get what the fuck I give you. <laughs> mm. No, nah, okay, hold up. Playing devil's advocate, just playing devil's advocate. Because, yo, you had, like, like four or five, maybe six records that, like, bang. Mm -hmm. So what happens, you say you don't care, but I'm just, again, playing devil's advocate. If you put out this vulnerable music and it don't hit, like, your hardcore shit hit, you don't think that's going to fuck with you mentally? It's still going to be people that, like, like listen. Because I'm saying real shit that people can relate to. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So somebody, oh, I don't give a fuck if it's two people. They're going to listen to my shit and really understand. Them two people going to say, like, damn, like, I swear to God, I get messages every day. Like, yo, your music really helped me through. And I be like, what music? You talking about, uh-oh, uh-oh, I ain't even talking about nothing. How that's helping you? But it's like, if that's helping y'all through shit, when I'm really about what I really got going on, really going to help people, especially... There's a lot of mothers out here that feel like, oh, I can't do nothing. I'm a mother. I, you can't do what? Like, mm. I'm out here doing everything I want to do with my baby right there. No, I but then it's like a lot of times people can look down on you like, oh, you got your baby there. You got your baby. You feel me? Like, you bringing her around this. But it's like, shit, what the fuck? I'm going to leave it with somebody else and then not know what the fuck she around? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, I facts. I, uh, it's funny that you say that because as a, as a, mm -hmm. uh, a new father of a, a baby myself, I kind of like be conflicted with that too because it's like, bro, like, if I can't find a babysitter or anything, I'd rather have my daughter with me. I don't care. I like, don't play that shit, especially me as a child. Like, I don't went through a lot of shit. Like, a, a lot of shit. Like, like from being molested as a child and all of that shit. So, it's like, me having my baby with me, I feel so comfortable. Like, I don't mm -hmm. play that shit. Like, I don't give a fuck who you is. Like, I leave it with my mother, my grandmother, people that I was comfortable with as a child. But as far as... Me just leaving her with somebody off of care.com. No, I'm not with that. That's mm. dead as fuck. That's dead. <clears throat> I don't care. So I'd rather have her with me and I feel better. And she feel better too. She love me. And honestly, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's, it's, I don't care. People might say, say what they want, but it's almost like a coping mechanism too. Cause like when you've been through so much, I or like to have your child with you, like I man, swear, this is what like, I, I wish I always had I for myself. I swear to God, yo, like when my daughter see me, like I'll be up, like, for example, I was at um the studio house. My label. I had my baby on the um with someone on my label for like ten seconds. I literally went upstairs to go get something. She seen me. She ah. She start screaming like she love me because she don't be away from me. So when she see me, she be screaming. It's like I'm here. I'm not going away. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to go to work for this amount of hours. Like my mother had to go to work. 
Like, shout out to my dude. She had to go to work. I used to be missing the fuck out of her. Mm -hmm. And sometimes she want to go out. You God bless, bless you, baby. You. Sometimes she want to go out. She don't want to just go to work and just be a mom all the time. She want to go to the club. So now she at work and she might go to the club on Halloween or something. Like, no, like I want to be with my mother. So the fact that I could be with her and I'm blessed to be able to do what I do and still have her with me, like, she going to definitely appreciate that. No, nah, facts. And another thing I don't, I don't be wanting to have, like, just people watching my kid because... I know that sometimes my kid get irritated and she cries. She might be hungry. She might need exactly. to change. And I know sometimes I can get overwhelmed, but that's my daughter. And I'm not. You exactly. know what I mean? Like, but, but who knows what another person... Listen. Yeah, I don't listen. need you to be irritated with my kid. I swear, yo, that's that Baltimore shot. I swear to God. Because I swear to God, listen, when when she be like with people and she start crying, I be like, just give it here. Because yep. I don't want you to act like you got an attitude with shit. Facts. Because yeah. I know how she start crying. So, bitch, don't act like you irritated with my motherfucking... This is a real princess. Like, yeah. this is a real living day princess right here. Like, nah, facts. I'm like, with seriously. you 100%. I, that's crazy. Said that. I thought that was just me like... Like, when she get to, uh, uh, I give her here. Yep. Listen, you ain't going to ever act like you got motherfucker. Even her father sometimes be like, they're like, I call shit. Hey, if she keep crying, I'm come come, come yep. get her. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I had to learn that because, like, I mean, well, it's funny because, like, it, she's a baby, right? Like, she yeah. can't communicate. So I know I get irritated, but and I can communicate. Exactly. So imagine a baby get irritated. irritated. That's she not can't your baby. even. You know oh, yeah, you talking about the baby? Yeah, she can't yeah. say anything. She you probably managed me? like, bitch, my motherfucking back. Ain't you yeah, keep trying to put fucking bottle with <laughs> right. my mouth? So it's like, bro, nah, I'd rather, I'd rather have my daughter, you feel me? Like, I don't know. Yes. <clears throat> it's one thing that, um, go ahead, take your time. <clears throat> that, 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 um, that brings me to the next conversation. I, I saw somewhere, well, on Instagram, you had made a long post about your pops. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, if, it wasn't a rap. It was just like a post. I mean, a post, a rap, everything, but. What there happened? was legal allegations and restraining orders, so we're not going to speak about his bitch ass on this podcast because I ain't got time for all that. I'm, I'm already fighting enough cases. I ain't got time for that one. Wait, he... He put he trying to put a restraining order out on me. Is that is that like... Can you... T I'm not saying his name, so I could talk about it, right? Um, I don't know, but... I don't give a fuck. You can put that shit out anyway. You feel me? I got a restraining order out against me. Like, bitch, you don't think you did enough, bitch? Like, what the fuck? Like, mm. and that be crazy. Like, I sort of go, like, that should be crazy. Like, people who are predators will really continue to try to get to you. Like, like what the f And I think it was his wife that put this shit out because that's who's... Listen, I don't know what the f*** is going on, but I know I went out of the country, and I'm coming back in the country, and they're telling me, like, oh, you... Like what? First mm. of all, why the fuck do you think I would ever even go near you anyway? I should be getting the restraining order. Mm. The fuck? like some people like that shit crazy. Now I wanted to ask you like that relationship or like a relationship or like you know the things that went down you being molested and just not being protected as a a, a little girl that shit, coming from the city. Yeah, how did that like mess with you mentally coming up? That shit fuck with me still to this day. Like I still be thinking about it like every day. Like I swear to God, it's like. It's like on my mind. Like, I swear, I get mad about some shit. Like, say I'm dealing with a nigga. And I'm like, damn. Like, I just start thinking about everything. Like, I ain't never did right by no nigga. Like, I just mm. start getting mad as fuck. And that shit still fuck with me. And I probably do need to see a therapist or something. But I don't think it's that serious. Like, I think about it. It's definitely but it that serious. It is serious, but I'm just saying, like, it don't fuck me on that level to where I, like, I'm going crazy. Like, I think about it and I just brush that shit off. But it's like, yeah, that shit's definitely something that nobody ever needs to go through. And it's a lot of women, when I made that post, that are that went through that, and that shit is fucking weird as fuck. And that goes back to why I need, like, me dealing with any man, I need to be very attentive. I need to see the signs. I need to see everything. Like, if you just over freaky, like, I don't want to deal with you. Like, yeah. I don't like that shit. Yeah. Like, even with, even with my nigga, like, if I be like, bitch, like, I'm not in the mood. Don't keep fucking touching me because now I'm going to beat the shit out of you for real. Like, that shit really, like, it still triggered me to this day. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that shit. You know therapy don't have to be for, like, people that's crazy, though, right? Yeah. No, I know that. Do you that. know that? I know that. Yeah, I know that. I'm going to say, like, you could go to therapy and be... I probably could. I just need to make some time for that shit. <laughs> no, nah, man, you could do therapy. You could do therapy on the phone. Right. Give it a try for, like... No, real shit. I need to get, like, a therapist. So I could call her, like, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Like, do they yeah. have that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. You should try it for, like, a month. Just try it. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Give it a... No, nah, I'm for real. Give it a try for a month. I better change your life. They probably do. You're going to be like, yo, this shit is late. No, because I had a therapist one time, like, one time. And this bitch kept saying, like, I'll tell her shit. Like, I'll really be talking to her like this. She'd be like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. Bitch, like, give me some <laughs> yeah. advice. I'm like, you're not saying like, shit. Like, talk back. Then charge me 120 or however much for a fucking session. Like, girl, that's what really discouraged me from 
That's what really discouraged me from therapy, though. Okay. Now, I get it. Now, so what happens is, like, I've done therapy a few times. But, yeah, you have your one else where the therapist ain't the best. But don't let that, like, be... Don't let one fruit ruin it for the, no, uh, the whole shit. everybody else. Yo, she's so fucking full. This shit's sad, bro. Look at her. She's so happy. <clears throat> so that does that even, like... I'm assuming that that would even kind of make make it hard to trust even like the father of your child I sometimes. S- right? I swear like, to God, like, but it's crazy because you never know who would do some shit like that. But yeah. like, like I'm very selective. Like the father of my child, like he real, he has real discipline. Mm. Like when I say like, he don't even be on there sometimes. Like sometimes I'd be pressing, he'd be like, no, I'm all right. Like you feel me? So it's yeah. like, he's very disciplined. Never pressured me to do nothing. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's been times where like, <laughs> Tell you, I started to go sometimes when we about to do something. This nigga stopped me and he gets up to fucking go. I swear to go, yo, we in his house. We ready to do something. This nigga gets up to fucking turn the fucking picture around. It was one of his family members. He just turned. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like he don't even like, like he just real, yeah. like he don't play none of that shit. Now, so. It's funny because, like, and this is I, I never done no no weird shit, nothing like that. But like when I had my daughter. Mm-hmm. Like, even, it still was kind of weird for me to, like, wipe her. Because, yeah. like, bro, it just was like, I don't know. Like, I don't even, no it just shit. is weird. Like, I'm like, yeah. I don't want to. It was weird. Yeah. Like, that's it how was I, weird. I sort of go, that's it. Like, I be on his ass, like, put the A&D ointment on her. <laughs> he don't like that shit. He be like, no. Like, the fuck? Like, we we really got into an argument one time. Because I told him, like, after every every change, I put A&D on her. I take the fucking gel, whatever that is. Yep. Wipe it on her. Because I don't want her to get no diaper rash. So I'm in his ass, like, nigga. Like, do yeah. that shit. Like, I don't want her to get no that's fucking diaper rash. That's adjustment, bro. He like, no. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, the fuck? She don't need that every time. Like, we really got into an argument. So, yeah, like, I'm, I'm very, like, I have so much like, nah, trust that's an him. He's such a good ass person. Like, a good, not good person. He's actually fucking everything. But a good father. He's <laughs> a very great father to her. How does that... So, when you meet a good man like that, right? A good father. Like, that's what like made me saying? make him the father of my child. I swear to God. Because mm. I'm seeing how... I'm like, if I ever had a baby with somebody, I wanted to be you. Not no weird ass nigga. Like, he not no weird ass nigga. Does that make it easy for you to, like, trust people more, given the situation that you went through with your pops and stuff? Um, you said it's to make me trust people more? Does it... Make it easier for you to trust people. Like when you meet a good person, like your, your, the father of your child. Yeah, like, cause I could really sense shit. Like I had a nigga that was just over freaky, like <laughs> real freaky. He's like freaky I didn't want to do nothing. Yeah, he just like, <laughs> I'm like, no, like you giving me like weird vibes. Like you, it's like, I don't know what's up with you. Like, especially like if somebody just be already just acting crazy, like, bitch, I don't know what you capable of doing. Like, mm. uh uh-uh. uh. That's why, like I said, I'd rather just be the fuck. By myself until I see somebody that I know I can trust. Yo, when you're dating, do you think, because, like, of course, we hear the music as fans, it comes off aggressive. Is uh-huh. that you, when dating, or that's like the total I'm a opposite? I'm soft ass love girl. I swear to God, that's a booby stand. He, like, yo, you be echo hoes. You really soft as shit. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, as far as like relationship, like, I'm a real lover girl, like, for real. I don't mm-hmm. play that cheating shit. Bitch, I will fuck you up. <laughs> I don't play none of that. I never had no threesome. I, I'm not into shit like that. Like, I don't share my nigga. I could never watch my nigga do nothing. I'm going to jail. Like, mm. I'm so jealous. Like, that's my problem, too. I'm real, like, no. Like, I swear to God, like, one time I made father, he hugged the fucking lady at the fucking Webster. I fuck with her, though. Shout out Sabrina. He hugged that bitch. <laughs> Yo, you was crazy. I was like, yeah, mama, that's exactly how it was. I'm like, bitch, don't you ever the fuck. Mm. Real shit. So what type of man do you like? You think you like you like the aggressive nigga or I do. A I ain't gonna lie. Like I like an aggressive nigga, but so for me, because I don't want you aggressive with me too. Like that's just gonna be too much. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, time out. You were talking about uh oh, fighting all these people, bro. What's up? I seen something online. <laughs> bro, please go ahead. Yo, bro. what's up with You're you? You from Baltimore, yo. I know what you very say, yo. What? Go ahead. What you think I'm going to say? Go, go ahead. ahead. I'll let no, you know. no, no. You go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. I'm not playing with you. Go ahead. I was going to ask you about this fight that I seen on live or like on Insta. I don't know what the fuck. You talking about live? When I beat the girl up with Chick-fil-A? Oh, no, no, no. I want to talk about oh. that. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. I was talking about this chaotic shit. Oh, chaotic? <laughs> What's that? That's not real, bro. <laughs> I don't care what you say. What, what, the, what the label? The label told you should do that? <laughs> I'm annoying. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm on No, point. I fuck with K- I fuck with chaotic. Like I love that shit him. wasn't real though. No, like I fuck with him like real bad. So what was that? That was some other shit. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> Don't <Those Yeah>, try. <laughs> Listen, I fuck with chaotic. Like I still go like for my fuck no video. If y'all ain't watch it, go watch it. Hold on. Okay. 
I know what you thought I was about to talk about now. I think about no, it. Go, no, for real. Was the hip hop chicken shit? Wasn't hip-hop like a, a long time ago? No, what you talking about? No, I thought no. Nah, hip hop chicken is crazy. <laughs> I'm tripping? Yeah. I don't know. What Ain't something about. happening like. <laughs> I'm lying? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> hip hop chicken. Oh, you I did saw music? the video next. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought something happened like. You're not, you're not fucking with me, are you? What you mean? Okay, okay, okay. But that was your first video, right? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Well, her lawyer is bad, bro. She I'm not right bad. Right here. She not bad. Look at her. She just bad, bro. Trust me, she is not bad. She about to start walking, too. I know. I don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> you got to go to the bathroom? You pooping? She probably is. <laughs> <laughs> But it's yeah. hard to come out. I think. Um, oh, that was a yeah. part of the video. Yeah, that was part so of the that video. was that was all right because I was I be googling. Yeah, that's the first thing I said when you I thought of when you said that hip hop. I did a video in there. Ain't going back. Go watch that. What oh, happened? This video, huh? What happened? Ain't yeah. nothing happened in that that situation. Uh huh. What made you do that video there? I don't know. That was just like a place where I knew we could turn up in a restaurant that wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm like, I want to do a restaurant scene. Fuck, we going to the wrong, right by Will, dude. They ain't Yo, give a you fuck. Crazy as they ain't hell, give yo. a fuck. Yo, how did you, uh, how did you meet Krishan? How I meet her? Y'all are like the, around the same age, right? Mm-hmm. She's like a year older than me. Um, I forgot where the fuck I first met her at. I don't remember. I, I didn't meet her in Baltimore, though. I met her out L.A. Mm. Was it instantaneously y'all clicked or? Yes, like, yo, she just like me. That shit crazy. Mm. How was how did the the, the the people take it when you first like popped up with Krishan? Like, yo. They just like, y'all too crazy ass Baltimore bitches. <laughs> That's nah, what facts. they said. Nah, facts. Yo, how you like, like, what's going on now though? Like, like, where, you, where are you mentally? Mentally, I'm in work mode, crime mode. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I need, I'm just, I'm just working on this music shit. Like, that's all I'm focused on right now. Like, that's mm. it. That's my only goal. Mm. Just to be comfortable on the music. What's your plan? Um, so right now I'm just recording and I'm I really don't want to put a project out until I know for sure like they they need it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just keep working, keep dropping, shooting videos until I get that one. Mm. That one that motherfuckers like damn, like. No, I feel like um it's funny because <clears throat> when something d- dramatic happens, a drastic change, uh-huh. that's when like we kind of elevate. And like like you said, when you spoke about getting shot or right. whatever, you was like, that's when you really got serious and you locked in. You was in the studio mm-hmm. like every day. It's kind of the same, right? Like you just had a daughter. You know what I'm trying to say? That's the exact. I swear to God, it's so crazy because I just felt like this. I be thinking that shit to myself. Like, yo, I'm I'm in the exact same mindset when I was when I got shot. Like, like life or death type shit. Like vulnerability. Like, that's exactly how I feel right now. Like, like I, it got to work. Like, mm-hmm. I, it got to Cause I can't be took from my daughter. Like this music shit is like the only the only option I got. I'm not going back to doing nails. I'm not going back to nothing. I might sell a product, but as far as anything else, like this music shit, that's all I'm focused on right now. Mm. Do you feel like it's a pressure on you to um be be anything else but a rapper? No, she. Um, she good. Just make sure she don't eat no cord. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, go ahead. No, nah, do you feel like it's, it's it's pressure on you to be anything other than a rapper? Like you said, I'm not about to do nothing else. I might sell a product. Is it pro- is it pressure to be anything other than a rapper? Yeah, like do you Hell feel like yeah, you can't like, be? Nigga, I swear to God, I'll be like, damn, I'm gonna just work at the hospital yeah, or something. Yeah. Then I'm like, fuck, they gonna be like, Rick and my doctor, like, no, like, like, and it's it's crazy because I want to go to school for something, mm-hmm. but then it's like, I don't want to be the bitch that was trying to rap now that's working at. It's not wrong with that, but that's not what I don't want to do. Like, I, it got to go. Like, yeah. one of these songs going to go. These people can make a song that's one of them ones. I already got the song. I just probably ain't drop it yet. Mm-hmm. I got so much music. No, I asked that because I was feeling the same way. But um, I don't want to sound like the old guy, but, bro, like, if I had to give any, like, game, it would just do what you got to do. Because if somebody going to clown you for getting money, then they they're really themselves. the joke. You right. know what I'm trying to say? So, like, Whatever you gotta do to get to it, get to it. You know what I'm trying to say? Nobody can judge you. Like you still can make fire music and you still exactly. can do whatever you gotta do. Exactly. So don't even let that. But no, I just wanna put my on this music shit though. I ain't gonna lie. Like mm. I just wanna eat, sleep, breathe it. I don't wanna have to focus about nothing else. Cause once I start having to focus about other shit, my music don't be there. That's one thing I realized about myself. Mm. My music do not be there. Just just don't let her get the camera. 
<laughs> she alright, man. Always, she, hey, Joe. She not bad. Let me tell you, when they start crawling this shit, she's not bad. It's the scariest thing. I'm trying to tell you, she's so not bad. Like, yeah, though. That's that's a good ass question. Like everything you ask is like that's the shit I be thinking about. Mm. About like just working and like yeah, getting to like, it and yeah, bro. Like it's it's hard out here, man. And especially being like the age you are, because like people your age don't really They some fucking clowns my age. They don't understand <laughs> they shit. Don't, but that's not being clowns. They just they haven't lived it yet. They haven't experienced it. No, they be it. some real clowns. Like you know how a kid go to school and, and people be like, Yeah, kids are evil. No, people my age is fucking evil. Yeah, like for real. That's like it'd be the like like, I can't wait till we all get older and they see what's really going on. Like, I feel like I'm a little advanced. Mm. No, I mean, I feel like you definitely mature for your age. I feel like, um, but you also have a daughter. So, like, that gives you, like, a couple more years, mm -hmm. too. What's, no, the, what's sure. the one thing that you learned about motherhood um, that you didn't know before that you wasn't expecting? I sort of go, I was one of them bitches that was like, yeah, because if me and my nigga break up, he got to take the baby. Mm. No, I'm not with that. I'm taking the baby. Like shit, I like, wish. I ain't gonna lie. No, like listen, like it. I'm like I'm really like in love. Like I did not expect to be like this. What the fuck? I did not expect to be. You see how babies is like they just find the sharpest thing and want to play with it. What is that? I don't know what that is. That's some sharp ass shit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like um. No, I didn't expect to be in love like this. Like, she really is like a little me. Like, when yeah. I tell you my daughter looked like me reborn, except, like, she was born with my color hair. Like, I came out with straight black-ass hair. Mm. My shit started turning that color as I got older. But she got my eyes, my hair color. Like, it's just like, she just looked like me. Like, yeah. like this is like baby me. So it's like I treat her how I wanted to be treated as a child. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What's the, the most, the, like, the specialist part about it, you think? About being a mom's? Like, that's just, like, somebody that love you for nothing. Yeah. Like, she just, love, like, that's my favorite part. Like, I started going, yeah. like, oh, my God, like, I could start crying. Like, every time she see me, she just be like, ah, like, she be so happy. It's like, damn, you, like, the only motherfucker that be happy as shit. Ooh, I'm ready to start crying. Mm. Nah, for like, real. I love this baby so bad, like, for real. Nah, it's so real, because it's like, bro, like, nah, that's some real stuff, because, like, my, um, especially being a man, but you understand, because you got success, <clears throat> like, being a man or being super successful, it's like, people love you. They for love, what you could do for them. Exactly. Period. So, like, to have this little ball of joy just That's smile so at you, like, just love yes, you for like, nothing. Man, that means the world. And, like, and you could just, like, you can't do no wrong to them. You can't do no wrong. And I think, like, that got to be the best part. Because, like, you look at them and it's like they look at you, they see so much joy. It's like with other people, you mess up, you make mistakes, and they judging you. Right, they, they, they talk about you. They yeah. And then your daughter, your kid. Love you regardless. Mm -hmm. As long as you love them, they're going to love you right back. You ever felt like you you, you 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 ever had that love before though? I mean, my mother like sometimes like like I want to give her high, like the same feeling my mother gave me like when I was a child I had the best childhood like I feel like my mother she really was like how I am with her like she just loved me she just giving me like you know like that real innocent pure love watching movies with me like that's 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 definitely how I'm trying to be with her. Mm -mm -mm. Nah, facts, man. Like every time I see my mother, I was so happy like I really looked up to her like. Mm. Now it sounds like you you've been through a lot. It sounds like you've been through a lot. You still growing through a lot. What do you think? Um, like all of this means to you, like the, su the success, being a mother. Like, what does it all mean? If you had the time to reflect on it, um, I feel like this is just a part of my story. Like, I feel like, like, I feel like I'm gonna have like a movie out about this shit. Like, this mm. shit is crazy. Like, I've been through so much. Like, and I know everybody go through shit, but it's like, like my shit be like, damn, like no breaks. <laughs> like back to back to back to back to back. Like it's mm. always something going on. Mm. And I feel like that come from me just being hard-headed. Like, I feel like if I would have just listened, like, if I would have, like, I could have really had a soft-ass life. Like, mm. for real. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I definitely made this hard for myself. Like, every day. Because I'm just so, like, like, I want to see what's going on. Like, I don't like regular shit. Like, I didn't want to just settle for doing the the organized shit that everybody do. Like, I didn't want to graduate high school, go to college, get a job, work this, go home. Do this. Like, no, like, I like excitement. Like, I want to see what's next. Like, mm. I like doing shit the way people be like, damn, like, she just did. Yeah, I did. Like, you know. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's always being something. What do you think is the motivation to keep going there? Like, if, if it's always something, like, why why keep going? One, my baby. Mm -hmm. And two, shit, me. It's like, like, I love myself. Like, I'm not one of the people that just, like, like, I really love myself. Like, so it's like. I want to keep going because I want what's what's best for me and what's meant for me. Mm. 
Mm. That's good, man. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you for pulling up, man. No, thank you so much for this good ass conversation. <laughs> I really liked this interview. Mm-hmm. No, I did a lot of interviews. I really liked this one. I feel like I could be me, relax. I got my baby yeah, you on, on the carpet. I saw. I saw you been doing a lot of press, man. What's what, what, what's the what's the, uh, the the best city you like so far? Um, I love Atlanta now. I I used to didn't like Atlanta. Yeah, I used to didn't really like Atlanta like that. But it's like now that I really want to be in this. Like it's like every time I want to really get like locked in on my music, I want to come to the A. Yeah, because it's like the best vibes. Everybody on it. Like yeah. you can find so many producers, so many writers. Shout out to Nonstop. I love Nonstop. He a good ass producer. Um, Bangladesh. I fuck with him too. Yeah, Bangladesh fire. I met Derek out here. I love Derek Milano. Mm, like yeah, that's yeah. like one of my favorite people in the industry. I ain't, I thought he lived somewhere else. He don't live out here. He live on the West Coast now. But yeah, I be talking. Well, he was living by us. He was living in DC at first. Yeah, no, nah, I, I supposed to get him on the show. I talked to him a few times about getting him on the show. We keep. I don't know. I just it's me. It's me. No, you know how I be. It just be <clears> like, yeah. like I'm, fi- I'm glad I finally caught you this time. Yeah. Like, I'm glad we finally caught each other. No, nah, I like I like yo. What what I will say is uh, no place, and I'm pretty sure you can contest to this. Because a lot of people be thinking I'll be joking when I say this. No place really touching Baltimore when it comes to the food, though. I swear to God, nowhere. nowhere. I don't give a fuck. Where you at? Houston. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, our food is... Cali, yeah. LA, by trash. Yeah. Listen, Baltimore got the best macaroni, the best greens, the best fried chicken, the best crabs, the everything. best crab boils, <laughs> yeah. the best spaghetti, the best everything. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that for sure. Nah, man, this is good, man. So, like, you you, you say Atlanta, then what would be next? From, like, far as where you went to travel. Where I went to travel? Yeah, like Atlanta, then... I don't know. New York? I, I be... I don't know. Like, I don't even like... I like Arizona. Arizona cool. Really? Like, <laughs> that's random, ain't it? That's random as hell. I like AZ. What make... Because like, it's just like... It's like a vibe out there. Like, it's like... It's hot. Like, it's like hot. Like, I like hot places. I don't like no cold ass snowy place. I don't like Colorado. I don't like shit like that. Like, I like like hot... I like Arizona, not tropical, but I like like tropical places. I like like Miami. Mm. I like Florida. Okay. Okay, I can see that. No, this is good, man. So the only thing I don't like about Arizona is them crickets. If you know me, you know I do not like crickets. I hate crickets. They be on you? I hate crickets. Like, I just don't like seeing them. Like, in Arizona, I'm standing at Airbnbs out there when I was out there for a little bit. It was fucking crickets in every one. Like, it was one Airbnb where it was just hella crickets. And the floor was, like, speckled, like, granite type. So you couldn't even see the crickets until the fuck they jumped on you or jumped out. Like, bro. I don't like crickets. That's the only thing about AZ. I don't like them fucking crickets, yo. No, nah, I wouldn't like that either. That's that's crazy. That is the, they worse than spiders to me. I don't like crickets. A cricket, I feel like it's so harmless, though. No, they fucking ugly. They, <laughs> they ugly. Harmless. They is harmless, but... Oh, shit. They harmless, but they fucking ugly as fuck. All right, well, let's... um. We can wrap up. up, man. For the people that don't know, tell them where to follow you, where to uh, What's get up, your music. What's up, y'all? This is Reek and the Menace. Go follow me on Instagram at Reek and the Menace, Twitter Reek and the Menace 1, TikTok Reek and the Menace 1. We out. All righty, man. Mr. J-Hill, J-Hill Podcast is a wrap. We out.